Well, data operations in Salesforce can be performed using the following tools. The first one is a data import wizard. Okay, so the first tool which is available to you to perform bulk data operation is data import wizard. Now, what is this data import wizard? This is more of a you know drag and drop sort of a tool which is available right on the Salesforce user interface. Okay, you don't need to install or anything. This is available within your Salesforce setup menu. Okay. Data import wizard makes it easy to import for data for many standard Salesforce objects. First of all, you know, even before I start talking a little more about data import wizard, let's see, you know, where this is available in Salesforce. Give me a moment. Let me quickly open my Salesforce org. Yes. Yeah, so so if you are on your setup menu uh, just go to quick find box search for data import wizard and this will open the data import wizard for you okay and this is where you can actually go ahead and start doing the import you have the option of launching the wizard from here you launch the wizard and then there is a uh, you know step by step process you will basically go through this wizard multiple screens and you can uh, actually you know go ahead and you know, perform your data import using this okay so going back to what we were discussing let's understand a little more about the data import wizard so as we saw that you know this is something which is available right in the salesforce user interface from the setup you can search for data import wizard now what is this data import wizard uh, doing the data import wizard makes it easy to import data for many standard salesforce objects okay uh, for some of the standard Salesforce objects, you can use the data import wizard. Now, this is not available for all the standard objects. This is available for few of the standard objects. Which standard objects are available uh, through data import wizard? Standard objects available are accounts, contacts, leads, solutions, campaign members, and person accounts. So these are the objects which are supported. The, these are the standard objects which are supported on data import wizard. So if you are trying to import data into any of these available objects, then you can use data import wizard. Okay. You can also import data for custom objects. So all the custom objects are supported and only these standard objects are supported on data import wizard. Okay. So yeah, if you have to import data in any of these objects, you can simply go to the you know data import wizard and launch that wizard and you can start importing the data. Import wizard can import up to 50,000 records at a time. Okay, so when you're trying to import records using the using the data import wizard, you can import up to 50,000 records at a time using this data import wizard. All right. Okay, data import wizard can be used directly from Salesforce UI and does not require installation. So this is something which is available right on the UI. So you know, that's this is more more of a web based application and you don't need to install anything on your system or anything okay so that's about the data import wizard uh, now before i talk about the other tool let's quickly understand so uh, you know if there are any limitations that i see with the data import wizard so yeah it allows up to 50000 records uh, standard you know custom objects all the custom objects are supported uh, but a limitation which I see from uh, the standard object perspective, there are only a few standard objects which are supported, which means if I have to import data into other standard objects, those I cannot do using data import wizard. More than 50,000 records I cannot process at a time using data import wizard. Of course, you can break those into smaller chunks and do it. So let's say if you have 80,000, you can process 40,000, 40,000 in two transactions, but one tra single transaction of uh, more than 50,000 will not be allowed advantage wise i see that you know there is no additional software installation anything required so it is you know straightforward available right on the ui so easy to use okay so that's about the data import that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching for more videos in this series you can look for the link in description below or visit my website goodbye and take care